In this video we're going to do a short recap on Core 2 transformations. So you will have met translations, reflections and stretches. For the first, a translation by the vector AB, if we begin with y is equal to f of x, Try that a bit more. There we are. Okay. So y is equal to f of x. It's translated by the vector a b. Then what happens to it is that we have y is equal to f of the a means that the x is replaced with x minus a, and the b means that y is replaced with y minus b. And if I then add b to both sides, I get it into that format. So you can see that the A is changing sign and is inside the bracket. The B stays the same and is outside the bracket. For a reflection in the x-axis, if you're starting off with y is equal to f of x, to determine whether the minus sign, and you should remember there is a minus sign involved, is appearing in front of the x or in, in front of the f of x, just consider a pair of coordinates. So if I consider the coordinates 2, 3, and then I want to reflect in the x-axis, then what's going to happen is the coordinate is going to appear down here. It will have the same x-coordinate, but the y-coordinate will change. And because the y-coordinate has changed, that means that the minus sign must be in front of the y, or instead in front of the f of x. So y is equal to f of x is mapped to y is equal to minus f of x in this case. If it's in the y-axis, then using that same coordinate, the coordinate now would now appear over here. So the x-coordinate would have changed, but the y-coordinate would have stayed the same. And so, because the x-coordinate has changed sign, the x-coordinate inside the bracket has changed sign. Okay? So y is equal to f of x is back to y equals f of minus x. Now, if you're stretching, and you can either do it parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis... If it is parallel to the x-axis by factor k, then what happens is that we now have y is equal to f of 1 over kx. Okay? So the x is replaced with 1 over kx. In the same way, if you're parallel to the y-axis, then y is replaced with 1 over ky. But I can then multiply both sides by that k. And so the k will appear in front of the f of x. Okay? So these transformations are what we really need to know at this stage. You, and we're going to use them in the following videos on e to the x and log x, as we've seen in the previous videos. We'll also, uh, later on in the course, be looking at combinations of transformations and so you need to have these nailed down.